Hi everyone, my name is Naveen and I'm going to show you how to export from Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 and later. So I've already finished editing a short video here in the timeline and you can click anywhere inside of the uh, timeline and then you may notice up at the top of the screen there is a tab that says export so you can click on that or you can go to file export media and that will also take you to the export screen uh, and here what we're going to do is choose media file there are also some quick ways to upload to some social media channels but we're just going to export a media file and then where it says file name you can choose a file name for your export and then right below it where it says location click on the file name and then you can choose a name and a location where you want the export to go. I'm going to save mine to my desktop and I've actually created a folder already called Final Exports. So I'm going to put it into that folder and I'll click on Save. Uh, now the preset, the default preset is Match Source Adaptive High Bitrate. That's actually a pretty good one. The high bitrate will give you a high quality export as opposed to the medium or the low. So we're going to start off with that one and you can make sure that the format says H.264. This is a popular form of video compression and it generates an MP4 file which is very easy to share. Uh, now if you just want to do a simple quick export this is all you really need to know. You can click on the export button and then you will be done. If you want to go a little bit deeper into the settings, let me show you. Um, you can click to expand the video section and there is a button that says match source. It's always a good idea to make sure that your source video and your output settings match in terms of the resolution. So my source resolution is 1920 by 1080. My frame rate is 29.97. So I want the output video to match that. You'll see it's 1920 by 1080, 29.97. If for some reason the output does not match, then you should go ahead and click on the match source button like that. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit more and you will notice that there is a more button down here. I'm going to click there and let's say you want to increase the quality of your export file. You can choose render at, max, uh, at maximum depth, use maximum render quality, and then also choose frame sampling. This will uh, produce the sharpest, clearest video. Uh, in terms of the speed of the export, you should choose hardware encoding. That means that a uh, Premiere Pro will use the GPU if there is a compatible GPU on your computer. If you don't have a GPU, then you'll have to choose software encoding. It's not a big deal. It'll just take longer to export. If you are concerned about the file size, then scroll all the way down to the bitrate settings. Now, right now, Premiere Pro is showing me that the estimated file size is 55 megabytes. Um, and that's not bad. But in case I wanted to reduce the file size, I could lower the bitrate setting. So right now it's 19. I could change the bitrate to let's say 10. And then you'll notice that the file size has gone down. If for some reason you want a higher quality file, you could also increase the bitrate setting. And of course that will change uh, the file size. It'll go up. The higher the bitrate, the higher the file size. The bitrate is basically just the amount of data per second of video. Now here in the bitrate encoding, there's a couple of options. We have CBR, which is continuous bitrate. Then we have VBR, which is variable bitrate. It's usually the better way to go because what it does, it increases the bitrate if that section of the video requires more data or more information or more processing. Uh, you typically don't need to go up to VBR 2-pass. There's usually not much of a difference between the 1-pass and the 2-pass. So I'm going to stick with the 1-pass. Uh, and um, before I click on the export button, I'm going to go all the way back up here to the preset. And I'm going to click on the little dots here. And I'm going to save the preset as my HD High Quality Export. Now I'll click on OK. 
in the future, what that means is that if I ever want to just use these settings again, you'll notice that I have a preset that I just created. Now I can finally click on the export button. Might take a minute or two for it to export. And then once it's done, you'll actually have an MP4 file on your computer. So I'm going to go take a look at that. It's going to be on my desktop. Uh, and then I have a final exports folder. So this is the one that I just created right now. It's 30 megabytes. If I double click it, it'll start playing on my computer right away. The quality looks good. And then I can also take this file and I can upload it to my social media, my YouTube, my Vimeo, Facebook, you name it. So uh, hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments, and I'll see you in the next video.